Can you guys hear me now? Give me a couple thumbs up if you guys can hear me. I know we had some technical glitches before. I don't know why. Um, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yes? Yeah? Oh, beautiful. Okay. Oh, sorry for the technical glitch. Uh, as you can see, I live in... I like to be off the grid. So only satellite can find me. You know? Anyway, <laughs> I was gonna show you something goofy, but I'm not gonna do that. Anymore. We're gonna pick it back up. So I don't know uh, how much you heard of what I said, so I'm gonna start over as we start this run over. You're gorgeous. You're amazels. Okay. Started earlier running and just talking about you know, everything that's going on right now, just currently, currently, not about the Ukraine war, but that is current, about these mass shootings that have been going on in the United States. You know, I heard that there's more mass shootings, and I need to find the fact, I need to fact check this, but there's more mass shootings in the United States than there are holidays. It's crazy. That's insane. That there's more mass shootings than there are weekends. That's insane. So, what are we going to do about it? Right? Because John F.K. said, ask not what your government can do for you, but what you can do for your government, right? So what do we do? Well, it sounds like we revolt. It sounds like we start taking action. And it sounds like we continue to do it with peace, love, and harmony. And anything outside of that, we throw to the wind. If they, we come at them with peace, love, and harmony, with the plan, stronger together, together we rise, eyes to the skies. There's no way that they can stop us because we're soaring above it all. We are leading. And we're not playing both sides like a double-headed eagle. We're A to B straight line. Again, heaven is a state of mind. And this is a place that it could be. So as we talk about resurrection, we've been talking about that a lot because it's not a once a year thing. And it sure as Hank ain't Easter. That's a pagan holiday. We're talking about the resurrection of Christ. They took, in 1962, they took God out of, out of school. And in 1962, everything was going up in the uppity up. The IQ, the EQ, the RQ. And, and uh, emotional intelligence, relational intelligence. And of course, our intel intellectual intelligence. Come on, Keeks. And then once it was taken out, drastic drops. Drastic drops. Uh, with mental health, with purpose, with planning, and a lot of other things. Now, moving on from that, as we re resurrect ourselves from yesterday, as we wake up, another day above ground is a beautiful day. It's a blessing. We must let go of who we were yesterday and improve upon it, innovate it, elevate it, and rise it so that we can grow up, right? The worst thing that we can do is stay in this Peter Pan syndrome, wanting to be you know, children for the rest of our life. You can have a childlike spirit, but you must grow up. Soar above it all. So talking about resurrection, let's talk about consumption. This country is a catalyst, is a beacon for gangster rap music, over-sexualization, uh, creating video games that the best sellers are shoot 'em games, you know, San Andreas, all those things, fighting games. That's called programming, guys. It's not just for fun, okay? You shouldn't be getting points for how many people you kill. So for all you gamers out there, we're looking to have a future, a bright future, a vast future, an abundant future. How about we innovate these games, all right? Let's get creative. Let's get creative, let's stay creative. 
and also to the shops out there. It's not just the game places, but then we make sure parents, if it has a restricted label on it, it's for a reason. It's the same thing when the 90s were out and everybody could buy CDs. There was parental advisory. Now, what did that mean? Most kids wanted those, right? Because it's, ooh, it's taboo. It's, it's, uh... I'm doing something bad, it must be cool. But guess what, that's the upside down world that they want you to live in, that bad is cool. Bad is not cool. What happened was horrendous, it was bad. People got killed, was that cool? Nah, you know? Let's put faith over fear, purpose over pleasure. Again, hubris over, humility over hubris. And let's get back to our disciplines together. We all need mentorship. We all need guidance. And I just feel like this 18-year-old, he's a man. This 18-year-old man didn't have the proper guidance, mentorship, advisory, parenting. There were some mental health issues going on there. But there was also some stimulants, probably. And there's also some programs. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. I'm not going to say I never said anything wrong to my parents that gives me nightmares even today. Right? But it doesn't make you a bad person by doing that. What makes you a bad person is by not getting better. Realizing and being aware of your trauma, of their trauma, and rising above it. You know, it only makes you an idiot when you try to have a debate with a sick person. Because you're going to be going in circles. Right? It's better to remove yourself from the situation. Now, how they want to edit it, interpret it in their minds or present it to the people, as you guys saw uh, in the ridiculous. some batman here's the deal when you shoot somebody in real life bullets don't bounce off your chest i'm gonna say that again in real life when you shoot somebody with a gun bullets don't bounce off of their chest all right and people are like oh bro come on for real come on bro for real yes i'm very for real there used to be a lot of stories about coming of age they were wonderful there were great stories and there's still so many, but it just seemed after time, I know I'm on a tangent right now, but that the, the great filmmakers, the storytellers, the directors, the artists, the actors were running the studios. Not anymore. The big studios are all run by the suits, the accountants and lawyers. And they are in one business because they're businessmen. And the only business that they're in is to make money. So going back to the businessmen, aka the senators, who are taking care of the, the bills, tax bills, how much is paid to education, we're gonna get on that in a second, is ridiculous. They spend more time with lobbyists than they do on trying to help individuals, cities, states, and as a whole, this country. And it's ridiculous. And if you're upset and frustrated like I am, good. So now what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do and how are we gonna do it? And who are we gonna be in the process, right? Let's talk about education a little bit. Education, in my heart, I believe it should be free, just like healthcare, right? We have nurturers, our parents, mother nature, Mom, do they charge us for loving us? Nah, right? Do they charge us for putting a band-aid on our boo-boo? Absolutely not. They even put the ouch free, you know, hydrogen peroxide and they smooch it. Why can't our government be like that? Our earth is like that. As much as we destroy our earth, it continues to repair itself. Rapid fire, our bodies. We get sick, rapid fire, right, right, right. 
So come on. We all see these celebrities, which celebrity, by the way, is merely based upon uh, the approval of you guys to them. It's perception. And I'll tell you what, mental health is a big thing because a lot of the celebrities I know in the highest places are super depressed because their joy is amounted upon how much money they make, how much merchandise they sell, and how many awards they win. If they're not on the covers, they're feeling like poop. That's what they say, their words, not mine. So with that, let's slow it a little bit down. Hope you guys will be able to get out there and find personal victories personal victories and this is one of them you take action in so many ways you have a voice remember that no one can silence your voice it's the fifth amendment okay have a voice have a foundation to stand on have a foundation to stand on you know they took god out of school in 1962 as we talked about and that firm foundation has left a lot of people just free falling and trying to grasp on the self-gratifying things Hey, heaven is a state of mind. I'm not 100% of where we're going to go after this, but I do know that we're infinite. And faith of a mustard seed moves mountains. So there ain't anything that you can't do. There ain't anything you can't do with a higher power. And if you're a parent and you're, how do I, you know, find a stronger relation with the love of your life and vice versa? And how do we parent? Let go of the reins a little bit. Right, if there was trauma from your parents parenting you and spanking you and doing things verbally abusive, physically abusive, emotionally abusive, how about we give it to a higher power where he's, hold on Keeks, hold on baby. He's up here, higher power's up here and you guys are down here. So he's bringing the lessons to you. So now you can let go of control. Isn't that amazing? You can let go of control. You can start soaring. You don't need to flap your wings so high. Remember, eagles are above, really high up there. They can see for like a mile, two miles, right? So if we're soaring, we're using less energy. We have a better point of view on ourselves. We understand that salvation is an inside job. And as you know about most eagles, they fly solo, but they provide. They fly solo, but they go back to their nest and provide. And guess what? God forbid, this is true, if another eagle... Uh, male eagle or female eagle passes away in a nest next to them because eagles got friends they provide for the female eagle or the male eagle they're together as one because they know that they are not only want to survive they want to thrive they want to thrive so find those personal victories personal victory doesn't just have to be once let's keep a personal victory daily Woo, and then we're vibing. Woo. Ah, 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 ah. We're vibing, right? Because we got those personal victories daily. Whew. I'll give you, check out my view, my Yuji. Sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the time. Slip away. <laughs> Love you, Kilo. Doing so good, baby. Doing so good, little baby. He's an owl wolf. Hold the line! Steady! Steady! Hold! Hold! No! <laughs> Faith over fear. Purpose over pleasure. Let's go. Okay, we are on our descent. Uh, we just reached our final destination. Wild dude and... Uh, we're going to be going down on descent right here. Put your 
your trays in a block and position. A stewardess to sit down, and we're gonna be preparing for landing. We got about uh, two miles left. flowers thank you sir it's another day in paradise I highly recommend this too, uh, just to keep your focus. Put your phone in another room. Set a timer on it when you're just gonna check it. Not use it, just check it. Let's stay unplugged. Let's stay free and unbrainwashed. If we need something, let's go out there laser focus and get it give back and keep it moving this life is so short I remember when I was 10 years old it was the first day that I was able to tie my shoes both of them um, bunny rabbits double knots I remember at uh, 18 years old I won international model of the year in New York but before that, I was in school for acting and runway. And then at 25, 26, I was able to move to Los Angeles back on international television. At 30, it was the first time that I was able to be on reality television in a global setting see what reality television's about and it ain't reality that's for damn sure at 35 here i am a transformed man full circle keep exploring life guys keep soaring above it all use everything around you in your advantage why because life is rigged in your favor already there should have been 14 billion or million reasons why your sperm didn't make it but it did it sure as heck did and that's a beautiful thing. How else do I know God is real? Here we are. You're the best of the best of the best with honors. You're the best of the best of the best with honors. God made sure of that. And you were right where you need to be. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. Heaven has a place for you. Hold on, Keeks. Oh, okay, he's not doing well. Not sure. I broke Kilo. It's been a while. He usually outruns me. So we're going to do something here, son. I'm going to put you on my shoulder. And we're going to finish strong. We're going to finish strong. Why are we gonna finish, start strong? Why are we gonna start strong and finish strong? Together as one, guys. We got this. We got this. We got a car coming, baby. We got a car coming. All right. So much peace and serenity around here. There's a waterfall down there. Maybe we'll check it out here soon. 
hey, there's many times this dog has carried me in life. Not physically. I wouldn't do that to him. But emotionally, he keeps my spirit inside of my body. My physical body. That's uh, the unconditional love, right? All right? That unconditional love. I got you, baby. I got you. I got you. Sometimes we all just need a little extra support, encouragement. Sometimes more than once and sometimes many times in a day. It's okay. Take your time. It's okay to start over. God is good. Kiki, we broke you today. Usually leading the pack, Alpha Dog. Not today. No. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. I would like to, oh, there's only one question. So let's take this question.